Hey beautiful people, hope you're doing really well this week. Um, vlogging to you from here in the mountains in Thailand, out in nature, absolutely stunning. Uh, really nice, peaceful and quiet. And I just thought I'd speak to you all today about the positive things that are going on. And basically I wanted to break it down into five reasons as to why the system is starting to crumble. And although it doesn't look like it on the surface, it looks like there's a lot of chaos, things seem to be getting worse. Um, what I see this as is basically evil in kind of its final death throes. Don't get me wrong, there's still a long way to go and um, we're not home and dry yet. But there's some real massive stuff coming out. It's a really weird time energetically, there's eclipses, there's retrogrades and... There's a lot of karmic consequences coming uh, to the forefront for people right now. And as chaotic as it is, it's actually a really exciting time to be alive and, and watching all this play out. And God knows where this is all going to go in the next few years. Uh, things are shifting so fast right now. So I think sometimes when we're involved with this um, movement or whatever you want to call it, um, truth seeking it can it can be a lot of doom and gloom but if you take a step back from that you can see that there's a lot of um, there's a lot of crap coming to the surface now and you know ancient texts have spoken about this time that we're living in this uh, age of Aquarius the Mayans um, the um, book of Revela revelations even in the in the Bible so we're seeing all this play out right now. So the first, the first reason uh, I'm looking at uh, to see why the, the system is struggling is the media. Uh, mainstream media has really lost any kind of credibility. Um, people are not sucking it up like they used to. Um, they are starting to question things. And of course what we're seeing now from the mainstream is an absolute desperation uh, to keep grip on people deeming anything else which is not from their own rhetoric as fake news and who determines what fake news is well it's government owned websites like Snopes um, anything government um, you know government's rubber stamped and this to me screams of desperation they're they're constantly shutting down freedom of speech um, YouTube channels getting shut down, algorithms in place both on Facebook and YouTube to stop people from speaking and anything that's like I say not the official version is, is deemed as, as fake news and, and you can look at this two ways, you can look at it as more erosion of, of our free speech um, which free speech, speech should be free anyway right, the, whole, the term anyway is, is completely weird um, but I, I choose to look at it the other way as, as, it, as the system struggles to keep a, a hold on things. It's trying to gag people and really the cat's out the bag on, in terms of what's going on and, and, and people in this movement have got so much to be proud of um, for really driving this home and, and getting people to look at the alternative media. So they'll have a job to shut us down. So I think that's the first reason as to why the system is, is struggling. And the second reason is the amount of um, high-level paedophilia cases that are being exposed right now. And this is, um, this is no more seen than in Hollywood right now. I mean, every day you hear a, of a new name. Um, I don't know the ins, out, ins and outs of every case. Uh, there's a lot of very high-profile pro, high names out there, such as Spielberg, Tom Hanks, Kevin Spacey. Um, I mean the research is there, you can look at it um, for yourselves. Um, I'm not saying that it's 100% is or isn't, but we do know that high level paedophile rings are running the film industry, running Hollywood, and um, that, whole, that whole rabbit hole is being completely dug out right now. And they're trying to keep a lid on things with that as well. So that's all coming to the forefront. Hopefully that will extend out to other um, areas of where this disgusting, uh, abhorrent, inhumane, uh, paedophile, loving planet that we live on uh, 
gets exposed even more and these people, these monsters, uh, have no more places to hide. Um, even here in Thailand recently um, on Koh Phan Yang, which is seen as like the more spiritual island, um, there's been a huge case of um, uh, the, like the tantric scene. Um, one of the gurus there has been exposed for um, basically rape of women um, using um, his um, authority in that scene to manipulate and get women to do things that they don't want to do. It's been going on for years there. That's all just come out over here, um, which is, uh, you know, the spiritual scene really needs a good clear up. So, so uh, as I said before, a lot of people are, are kind of starting to face their karma now. So that's also good. Thirdly, there's, there's a health revolution going on, guys. I mean, it's clear to see uh, last time I was in the UK, the, 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 I mean, don't get me wrong, there's still a lot of crap out there. People are still buying crap, but they're having to buy, they're having to stock more healthy alternatives. We're seeing more organic food. I know it's never truly orga organic because we have chemtrails, but you know, it's better than what we're given at the moment. People are looking at their diets, they're joining the dots and realizing that the health in uh, the food industry is, is in bed with the pharmaceutical industry where people are eating shit and they're getting diabetes, cancer, heart disease. They're finally, they're finally starting to join the dots and we're seeing um, a mass swathe of, of people really now looking at their diet, looking at the way they're living. Veganism, I think I read yesterday, there's like now three million vegans in, in uh, the UK. Um, so that's also good. Um, not all vegan food is great, by the way. They're, they're propagating a lot of vegan junk, so you have to be careful with that. Try and stick to as natural as possible. But, you know, people are realizing that, you know, perhaps what we've been told about animal agriculture, the, the need for eating meat, which meat which we don't need to do, um, is, is wrong, and, and they're starting to question it. So that's also another positive. Um, also, we've got the whole cannabis, uh, cannabis oil. Um, that's there's discussions about legalising that in the UK, and you know we have to be tread very carefully and make sure we don't get. You know, we still need if it does ever get legalised, we need to make sure it's the people that are producing it and not the government. Um, you know, people are they're having now to report on the medicinal medicinal benefits of cannabis, um, and this is again. I mean, I've been in this scene for about five years ago. Some of the people in this scene are relentless in getting this information out day after day, week after week, month after month, um, you know, exposing the, the scam that is cancer research, the key, chemotherapy. And, and now, finally, we are starting to get somewhere um, with this. And I'm just so proud of, of everyone in this scene that bangs the drum constantly and it's so difficult days are so hard you alienate yourself from friends family members they all think you're batshit crazy but guys we are getting somewhere there and in many fronts now there's small victories going on all over the place and i guess the last uh, the last um, reason that i i think that uh, things things are changing is just the conversations that you can have with people day by day the you know the amount of people that you can have a, a genuine conversation about government corruption how you know taxation is theft and illegal wars going on without our you know without us even like wanting them um, and and the, the amount of higher consciousness kind of conversations that you can have with people are a lot lot different to three or four or five years ago where you'd mention this stuff and then the eyes would just glaze over um, don't get me wrong we're not we're not out the woods yet with that we still need more people to, to look at this but I can see things shifting so um, well done to everyone out there and uh, I just want to read you an excerpt from my book um, are you living or just existing which kind of um, kind of sums up um, what I believe we need to to get um, to get this system out and um, basically create something new so um, these qualities mean nothing without imagination. It doesn't have to be this way. Humans can become much better than what we ha that we are. There doesn't always have to be war, poverty and suffering. We can transcend these times and we can create heaven on earth. We have to open that right side of the brain which you have been shut off from and start to imagine that this is completely possible. We have to first be able to imagine a world without the belief in authority. 
where it's this constant search for leaders to run our lives for us. We don't need another psychopath or wolf in, a wolf in sheep clothing calling the shots. There would be no more chaos than there already is, and even that would be temporary as we find our feet. This system needs to be purged not only from our existence, but from our mentality. It really is time for the true meaning of anarchy to come to the party, where nobody rules, but we rule ourselves. And that, guys, is where we're heading. So I just want to leave you with that. If you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, the book, um, I'll put a link in um, the description, either above or below in the comments. Uh, you can find it on my website as well, transcendingtimes.org. Guys, we are on the cusp of really great times, so keep with it. And again, well done to everyone that is um, doing the great work and taking um, a battering ram from friends and family members and so forth. And um, yeah, have a great week and I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.